Chronic sepsis, acute exacerbation of asymptomatic epical periodontitis. Acute exacerbation of asymptomatic epical periodontitis. This condition is an acute inflammatory reaction superimposed on an existing asymptomatic epical periodontitis. Causes: noxious stimulus from a diseased pulp. Irritation during root canal in instrument. Symptoms: initially tender on palpation present, then elevated from the socket. Mucosa over the radicular area appear red and swollen and sensitive to palpation. Then going for diagnosis, radiograph shows well-defined periradicular lesion. If it is acute alveolar abscess, there is no radiographic changes. But in this case, radiographic changes are seen. So, we expect acute exacerbation of asymptomatic epical periodontitis. Then, lack of response to vitality test. There is no response to vitality test because of the pulpal necrosis. But sometimes electrical pulp test shows respond because of the fluid in the root canal or in a multi-rooter tooth. It is very important. Then, uh, patient history of trauma uh, shows discolored tooth. Differential diagnosis is acute alveolar abscess. So, how will you differentiate from the acute alveolar abscess? Mainly through the radiograph. If it is um, acute alveolar abscess, there is no uh, changes in the radiograph. But uh, acute exacerbation of asymptomatic epical periodontitis or phonic abscess shows some radio um, uh, lucent area. Histopathology. Liquefaction necrosis is present, polymorphonuclear neutrophils and cellular debris then surrounded by an infiltration of the macrophages and lymphocytes and plasma cells. Bacteriology. Most of the abscess, uh, so, uh, some uh, microbial infection, but most of periradicular lesions produce uh, devoid of bacteria show, uh, called uh, sterile abscess except transient bacteria are present next going for treatment root canal treatment is um, proceed for two weeks calcium hydroxide placed in the irrigated canal after going for cleaning and shaping and obturation prognosis is good this is the x-ray appearance here we see the dental caries involving the pulp but there is well defined radiolucency in the apical region so shows the acute exacerbation of the chronic periodontitis